Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Arc here on Ragnarok. Today we are attempting an absolutely insane, crazy, ridiculous project that is just far too crazy and ridiculous. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, um, yeah, how do I even start? <laughs> we're, uh, we're up on, like, this spot here. If you guys remember this spot, do I even have a GPS? I, I don't think I do. Uh, you know, actually, I think I do. I think it might be on my horse. Let me just quickly grab it, because I guarantee I'll get, like, 50 billion comments of, um, like, what are the coordinates. And I guarantee by even mentioning the fact that I'm gonna get those comments, people are still gonna write them. <laughs> I love you guys. Anyway, so this is where we are right now, and you'll see it on the map right here. This is where we lived in Ragnarok Season 1. We built an amazing castle base up here, and I was really happy with it. Honestly, it turned out really well, but we were using a mod. Uh, what was it called? Castles and Keeps. We use that for the Ragnarok Season 1. We don't have that in this season. So I'm building something completely different. This is gonna be the library. It's gonna be a giant building and it's gonna include bookshelves of every single blueprint that we get. Okay? So that sounds kind of ridiculous, you know, like keeping all your blueprints in this one spot, but on a PvE world it makes a lot of sense and um... Obviously, there's gonna be times when, hey, we're gonna need them over at that outpost and that outpost, but we're gonna have to check them out when we wanna do that. We're definitely gonna have to make sure that we keep them all in the one spot that no matter where we are living, what outpost we are living at, what outpost we're building up or whatever, no matter where we are in the map, we're gonna have a spot where we can come to for our blueprints whenever we need them. And that's gonna be this spot right here, the library. And I think it's gonna be a really amazing building. Um, this is like the layout of what I want it to kind of look like. It's gonna have like tiered roofs coming up, so you can see the outside there is gonna be, like there's gonna be one roof there and then from, here, let me. <laughs> there's gonna be like one roof here and we could probably actually start a little bit. I kind of wanna map this out. So I wanna bring that up by four there. What, I didn't mean to place that there. I want to bring that up by four and there's going to be a slope. So is it, which one is it? Is it this one? Yeah. And then we're going to have one of these and then we're going to have another, eh, another slopey bit. So that's where the first roof is going to come up to and it's going to meet a flat wall. And this next roof is going to be a little bit higher than this one. So it's going to tear out to here and then it's going to do the same and it's going to tear out to here. This is the entrance, of course. And we're not gonna have an exit out the back, it's just gonna be a one way in, one way out. So you can't get past the librarian without actually being noticed. So yeah, um, we're gonna get to, we're gonna get working on this. It's, oh my god, I don't even know exactly how much of this I'm gonna show off because it's just gonna be a lot of wall placing and I've actually leveled up a huge amount from just constant crafting of like clay and then adobe bits and I've had to actually spend a lot of time over in the desert outpost which is good that we actually had that there because this would have been an even bigger pain if we hadn't have had that outpost already so yeah we've got a crazy ton of adobe structures I'll probably replace some of these walls with some other things after maybe even making some windows or some other shapes and stuff but uh for now I might actually just do the basic layout of it and not fill in all these walls so what we'll do is we'll come to the back here and we'll just do the exact same thing so yeah, we're going to have a ton of bookcases in this location, and that's where you guys come in. Do you know the little painting canvases? I don't actually have one on me, but I'm sure everybody knows what they look like. They're like the little the little squares, okay? Now, you can paint things onto those. You can paint, like, pictures of, like, whatever, you know? You can paint resources. Like, if you get a special file, and I think you transfer it into becoming a paint, you can, like, paint pictures of resources and stuff. What I want somebody to do, and it's it sounds kind of crazy, but if somebody could make a painting pack, and there's like different sites that you can submit them to. I'll try and leave some links down below in the description where you can submit this stuff. But if somebody could make like a paint pack where it includes pretty much every single armor, every single weapon, every single, uh, what else is there? There's armors, there's weapons, saddles, every single saddle as well. Um... And all these other things, like the saddle, only really the saddles that you can actually get blueprints of. So you'll probably need to look onto some sites where you see stuff like, um, you know, the loot tables and stuff from different, like, uh, drops. Like, you know, you, you know, you have your, like, island kind of drops where they come down, the beacons. Then you have your deep sea loot crates. Like, you're not really going to get, like, something crazy. Um, I think, I don't think every single, every single uh, blueprint or every single saddle can be 
a blueprint. I don't believe it can. I think only certain saddles can be found as blueprints, but I'm sure there's a list somewhere. So what I'm looking for somebody to do, because I am a lazy person, and also I make the videos, okay? <laughs> so I'm looking for somebody to make a giant kind of collection of every single saddle, every single piece of armor, every single weapon. You don't have to do every single ammo because they're... Mm, Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. If it seems like a massive effort, then don't do every single ammo. I can just cover it with just a picture of, like, a bullet or something. But what I'm looking for is those little signs to go above um, bookcases. So we're going to have bookcases lining up along here. So say if we had, like, a bunch of walls, like, right here, we'd have a bunch of bookcases in front of them and then a picture of what is in each bookcase above. So that's what I want. Um, so if somebody who is crazy enough and generous enough with their own time could make a giant collection of all of those i would love you forever <laughs> oh i don't know I, I feel like it's a lot to ask but i don't know if anybody's good with that type of stuff like i mean it would probably take me a good while to figure it out and then even longer to actually get it done and i'm not really i don't know i'm not very good with that stuff so if somebody could do that that would be absolutely fantastic let me know let me blah, blah, let me know down below and uh, we'll try and figure out some sort of some sort of like way of appreciating you afterwards. I don't know if there might be some sort of like sign or something in here saying like Beast Slayer 64 is awesome. You know, I don't know something like that. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But um, I'm sure everybody else on here would be very appreciative as well. I haven't actually told them about this project. They don't. They don't even know I'm doing this. I've just had like a long ass day of just collecting and gathering and all this stuff and crafting. So yeah. Um, they don't even know that we need this, but let me know if you can do it, and we'll figure it out, and we'll figure out some way to credit you as well. <sighs> okay, so that's that done. I'm going to build this up a little bit more, and, I'm, and then I'm going to bring you guys back. I can't even speak today as well. I really struggle some days. I don't know. I feel like the long days where I've just been doing like a crap ton of stuff, like this took a long while to even map out and figure out the shape that I wanted. I feel like these types of days, I just should just not record because <laughs> my brain is just fried, but we're going to continue because I'm, I'm motivated right now. <laughs> anyway, so guys, make sure that you hit the like button if you found yourself enjoying this one, and I'm going to continue building, and I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Okay, so we've done a lot here. Um, I've mostly just got the back done, though. So what we've got here is kind of like the layout of how it's going to look, and it's, it's quite a tall building, and I feel like maybe I made it a little bit too tall. Just judging by the... Just the sheer scale of that back wall, like, it's kind of crazy. I wish I had a flyer over here. To be honest, actually, I wish I had a flyer to actually help me build this. I might actually go back over and grab Blarnold, which is the RG that we have at that outpost um, over at the farm place. I don't know. I feel, is it too tall? It's going to be like a giant grand building anyway. Let's go around and actually look at it from the back. I don't think I've done that. Let me just run around this way. So we want to kind of just look at it from back here because it's going to be like basically the shape of what it's going to look like. We're not, obviously we don't have the roofs on here and there's a lot of things missing, but, and there's like some of the walls are going to extend right out to there. But this is like the scale of what it's going to look like though. So from the back, this is it. Like the, <laughs> this is freaking giant. I can't even remember how many walls that is. Just from like a pure head count, I think it's 11 looks like around 11 walls high but um yeah i don't know maybe maybe i should take it down by like one maybe two walls you see the only way that i could really do that easily is taking it down from this point here so that means that this first wall would start instead of it starting up here it's gonna start down here so we would basically, you know, the wall would begin here and we'd have like a short little wall down here. Now, I think that would look a little bit too stumpy, though. That's the only thing. Man, do I go with this? Do I do this? This is even crazier. This just means more work for me, but I, I don't know. Man, I wish I had a freaking flyer. I just kind of want to see it from out here. You know what? Screw it. If this is cheating, then whatever, man. I don't know how, I don't know what freaking benefit I would get through just flying just to see. I wish they had like a proper spectator mode where you can kind of just like detach completely. I think that you can d enable that on the server, but I, I feel like if I went into spectator mode just from pure 
like just from like experience with things in arc if i go into spectator mode i'm gonna lose everything in my inventory so just a weird like free cam kind of thing would be really useful or like a second account where i'm just flying up in the sky like what what people would do to make like montages of like minecraft and stuff see you look at it from this angle and it looks as if all those roofs um line up here look at this look it's like a straight line that looks so good but if it was a little bit lower then it would start instead of starting here it would start um here i believe so yeah it wouldn't be on top of this one it would be on top of this one so this the slant would start here i don't know i feel like we're just gonna go with what we have screw it whatever if it's more work it's more work uh, let's go ahead and just stop stop admin cheating there we go whatever i mean i wanted to see from the back <laughs> we, we have like one flyer tamed as well give me a break um all right can i get up there yeah there we go sweet all right cool so that is that um it's really man i don't know it's really big it doesn't actually look that big from down here though yeah from back here this totally doesn't even look that big i feel like this whole building from a distance won't even look that that big i don't know i like it screw it. we're gonna go with what we have whatever all right so i just thought i might bring you guys back just to kind of show this off a little bit um so the next step is what I gotta do, and this is gonna be the most painful part. I gotta essentially go like this, pull out these, so I can get the nice snap point um, without having to like cycle snap points. So what I want is I want to place walls all the way up. And we gotta start climbing, picking, climbing, picking. Gotta just place walls all the way up, and this is the painful part, having to do like this thing where you're like using the climbing picks and doing it. So yeah, we might actually go ahead and just grab Larnold just to be able to do this a lot easier because i mean like back here was a little bit easier because we didn't have to remove anything but over here we're totally gonna have to remove like tons of things so i don't know it's gonna be a little bit of time wasted if we were to just continue to do things that we did back here over here as well so i gotta essentially pull this wall all the way over to there and then do the same with that wall there and uh, obviously extend this whole wall over there and i gotta do this on both sides so that essentially means that the roof pieces that we're going to put here meet a flat wall, go up, and then another roof starts, if you understand what I mean. You've probably seen something like this before. We've done this kind of technique a couple times. If you're wondering how there's floating walls, uh, we do have S plus on here, which means that we have access to a setting that essentially means that we don't have to have foundation support on things. Um, if you want to know more about that, go ahead and uh, head over to the S plus mod page and you can read all about it over there. Uh, they can explain it better than I can. So yeah, that's going to be a, a long ass time to do this whole thing. So yeah, I'm probably going to have to go ahead and just fast travel all the way over to the farm and then fly over here with Barnold. Great. All right. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. So it is a long, 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 long time later and we've done a lot of stuff yeah um okay so first of all let's just show off the building i have also painted the insides um of the walls white because i didn't really like that orangey color that the walls actually have and i do know that where is the wall is it back here there was a wall that i accidentally picked up uh, did i repaint it i don't know if i did i might have i don't know where it was but anyway um so yeah i re i painted the inside of the adobe walls to be white and i didn't touch anything else yet i don't think i'm really gonna touch the outside so this is the building, guys. It's crazy big. It's it's probably too big, but yeah, that's it. It kind of looks like a church for some reason. I don't know why. I didn't mean for it to look like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks crazy. Absolutely insane. Um, we have Blarnold in there that we can, we can use him to fly around a little bit, possibly. But yeah, you can kind of just see it right here. Um, you know what? Actually, let's grab Blarnold and uh, do a little bit of flying just to show from the outside. And then we can talk about what I've been doing in here because this is like the frustrating part. Well, I mean, all of this has been frustrating to do, but I mean, the inside is like the frustrating or -er of the frustratingest parts. So that's the whole building. It kind of looks like something that you'd see in like Spain. I don't know why. But yeah, it looks really cool. When you get the weird of that like weird like shadow glitch, it looks amazing. But then obviously the shadows just come back in and then it looks weird. But um, yeah. 
I love it. I really do. I think this is gonna look fantastic once it's fully done on the inside and everything. But uh, all these foundations out here will be going, of course. They were just to stop all the stuff from respawning, like the rocks and the bushes and whatnot. But um, yeah, here is the library. <sighs> okay, so first of all, the inside painted, blah. We have windows. The windows are all open to the outside, so the outside, like you can see like the little window pieces on the inside are facing out there. Gives a little bit more shape to the outside of the whole place here. Um, because on the inside we're gonna have a lot of like different shapes and stuff going, so we don't really need that in here. Alright, so the actual library section. This is what I was going for, but then I decided to change it, and I'll show you what we're changing it to in a minute. So this is what we're going for, and unfortunately we have a little bit of an issue here. So as you see, there's no rocks sticking through on that side. There is, of course, on this side, which is... <sighs> it just sucks. I mean, sucks that they just that they just work that way. Like, that the walls apparently are just jagged and you've got pieces coming through. It's going to be dumb. It really is. But I think it's, it's like there's nothing I can do to get around that. I mean, the only other wall that I could stick in would be metal wall because... Wooden walls have two different sides, like, you know, you got the, like, light side, and then you got the dark, like, log side. Uh, adobe walls, of course, have two different sides, you know, the, you can see them very clearly here. You have the flat side, then you have the side with the little beams. Um, stone walls are, like, the only one that I can use that has the same thing on both sides. As you can see, like, there's no, no real difference there. I mean, like, I can't really see one, probably in the pattern slightly, but... It's not really noticeable. So yeah, I have to use stone, and that's just unfortunate. It just turns out to be that way. Um, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> also, we are using S-plus bookcases because they do snap to one another. They're a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact. They have extra storage, but that wouldn't really matter. It's mainly just the fact that they actually snap to one another. So if I want to place more, like I could just snap them out like this, you know? So it's pretty much um, like when I'm lining up all of these bookcases to go in, it's just a matter of placing one down, I'll just do one really quick, and then I could just snap the other ones on. So it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, also, I do think that they look a little bit better, and I think that they're not as wide as the as the other ones, as like the normal um, arc ones. So yeah, that's this is essentially the setup anyway. So we've got, like, we come into the library, and we'll have, like, all these things along the side here, and on this one, you know, we'll have cloth so cloth hat we're gonna have a picture of a cloth hat up there that's essentially what i want with all the pictures of the armor and stuff that i'm gonna need which some fantastic person is hopefully gonna help me out with um with all those pictures and whatnot we're gonna have like cloth hat so there's gonna be a picture of a cloth hat up here and then obviously it's gonna say it on the bookcase as well and i can go in here i'm gonna have all the blueprints of cloth hats now maybe we won't actually get any cloth hats but i still kind of want it to be there um and go shirt uh, pants, boots, gloves, and then the next side over, you know, is hide. So we're gonna have the exact same type of thing here too, except it's just gonna be hide pictures and hide blueprints. So yeah, that's that's what I was going for. Um, but I did change the design around a little bit because I did notice that I made this in a way that we'd have two on this side, and if we kept the pattern, we'd end up having one on this side. So I need to push this wall here back over one, which means that I need to push everything back by one more foundation, which is fine to do. I mean, like, it would just take a little while to actually be able to rip all this down, make sure nothing breaks while I'm doing it, and then also put it back uh, another foundation over, and it would just cost an extra few walls up the sides here, pretty much. So it's not... That is really cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's take away the HUD here. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? It's like, wait, look at it. We could do like something there and like a red arrow pointing towards it. Like amazing new find an arc clickbait. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, so that's what I was going for. Um, But we, we've got to we've got to push the building back. And on this side, I've done something different, but we're still going to need to push the building back, unfortunately. Um. On this side, I've decided to go out by two bookcases, and instead of having a gap where you can run along here, we're going to have aisle kind of style things here. So we're not going to have a gap over here. We're going to have 
a set of bookcases, which is going to be like one set of armor, and then we're going to have another set here. So we're going to have two on this side. So this could be cloth, hide, and then over here we could have like chitin, gilly, uh, flak, riot, you know, and then it goes into all the other ones. And then we're going to be done with armor, and then we're going to go to weapons and all the other things as well. So it's pretty much just going to go off from there. I think, I think we should probably have enough space in this library to be able to fit everything pretty sure because when with each one of these three walls we can fit five bookcases which means five different blueprints so I mean just doing the maths um, how many could I fit here so if I went with this design I could fit 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 so, I mean, I guess I could go with this design and then do it over here. So that would be 160 in total. I don't know now. I'm getting really confused. Like, it's... Mm, I don't know what I should be going with. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to have a think about this. Or maybe you guys can let me know down below. I feel like I'm not going to get a whole lot in this video. I'm not going to get a whole lot done in this video because I'm going to be mostly just trying to figure things out and get opinions and stuff. Maybe, I don't know. I guess that is quite a lot though on this side hmm I'm not a big fan of where these pillars end up I prefer them to end up there like you know like uh, this spot right here hang on I wasn't pointing at the right thing I start looking right up there for some reason I prefer for these pillars to end up here instead of like in the center of here I think that will look a little bit better but I really like the way that these ones line up here Kind of got distracted by the majesticness of this. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. There's so many things. There really is. But I also like the idea of two rows. Damn it. I really don't know. <laughs> I mean, okay, here. Look at it this way. If I was to go with that, you know, we have this massive, like, six wide kind of walkway between the aisles. We're going to have aisles over there, aisles over there. But we have this massive walkway between. Um, but if I go for this, we're going to have a two wide walkway up to like here. And then I was planning on like skipping a few and then doing a couple more two wides. So like we'd have one coming along here when we push the wall back. So we'd have one, two, three, four, maybe. And then we'd have a gap of one or something, or maybe we could remove this one and have a gap of three. I don't know. And then we could like put some stuff there. And there's just so many choices, and I'm just, um, hmm. You see, this is kind of the issue of building solo, because it kind of, not only is a lot of work to be able to place up all the structures, but it's also, um, decisions like this, there's nobody to bounce my ideas off of. Which is great when we're all building together. I don't know, I'm gonna have to th have a think about this for sure. I think I'll probably end up going with this, actually, because I kind of do prefer this now that I've built this up. I can see that I do actually prefer this a little bit more. Hmm. I also do kind of like the the little space over here to run by. <laughs> I don't know. We could play like hide and seek in here almost. But yeah, um, you know what? We're going to go with that. We're totally going to go with that. I'm just I'm, I'm kidding myself trying to overcomplicate things. We're going to go with this because that's going to leave 160 blueprints. And I guarantee that all of the armors and the weapons and all the saddles does not add up to more than 160. Even if I include ones that don't actually spawn naturally like a tech one if we got... The little pictures for tech as well so yeah we're, we're totally gonna go with this man brainstorming and stuff like this in the video is probably not that entertaining hopefully it is to some people but um yeah yeah we're gonna go with this <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna have to set up all of these then and of course we will eventually have the paintings made by one wonderful individual <laughs> So I'm probably going to put some sort of sign or mural or something up here. Like, thank you to blah, blah, blah. Like, whatever your name is. But uh, I still do need to push back this building, this, like, wall by another one to be able to get an extra gap here because that needs to be a two-wide walkway. If I'm continuing with this, it totally needs to be that because it's, it's two back here. It needs to be two over here as well. And that means I need to change some of the windows too. So there's a lot of changes that I'm going to need to do here just to fix this. But it's going to be worth it in the long run for sure. Alright, so I'm going to continue here. Not sure when I'm going to bring you guys back. But I will bring you guys back eventually. 
Okay, so we've got a lot of stuff done now. As you can see, we have all of the bookcases in place and all of the paintings on this side in place. And we have most of them in place over here. We have the bookcases, but we can't actually put down all the canvases because we've hit a limit. <laughs> yeah, uh, that kind of sucks. We need 10 more, 10 more and we could do this. Come on, Ark. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out if we can actually increase that. I don't know if that can be increased, but I really hope that it can be because, I don't know, I think it would look a little bit weird to have to like cut out one full bookcase or something like that. I don't know. Or I mean, like what we could do is maybe we could just like not have the backside of this with like the all the stuff on it. I don't know. Yeah, kind of awkward. Anyway, we're working on something up here. You see, in this project, I, I want... Okay, actually, you know, I should probably show this off first. So, we've got a crafting station thing here. All of the crafting bits. We need to bring over some resources so people can just go ahead and craft things. Um, I probably will just do, like, a couple resource runs. Just bring a bunch of, like, hide, fiber. Like, the general things that you'll actually need. And then I'll probably bring over some metal as well. And then all of, like, the other things that we're probably going to need to craft some of this stuff. But in general, I think when we are actually coming here in future, like, if we're coming to craft, like, something that is going to require polymer, I'm probably going to bring polymer with me. That type of thing. So, um, yeah, that's that's what all this is right here. And we have uh, some S-plus stuff here, which is uh, the converter, which you can take, like, a vanilla structure. Uh, or, I guess, an S-plus structure as well, can't you? And you can, well, let's maybe just just do one for now. So you can convert s plus structures into vanilla and then do it the other way as well. So I turn that into vanilla and then back to s plus, which is cool. Very useful, very, very useful. That means that we can make s plus blueprints if we want to, because we can take something from here and chuck it into here, which is the blueprint maker. And uh, let's just put one again. And we can convert this into a blueprint if I want to, but I'm, I'm not gonna bother doing that right now. I actually, I kind of need these, so yeah. Um, Pretty handy stuff. I haven't really used them too much uh, at all, really. I think I've, I think I've used this a couple of times, but I haven't really used this at all. And you may be wondering, can this work with weapons and tools? No, it does not. Which kind of sucks because if you got a really good weapon, that means that everybody could make it if you could turn it into a blueprint. So, yeah. Um. Then up here, this is gonna be like a kind of like living quarters type thing. You see, in each of these outposts, we want like beds so we can spawn with them if we ever need to. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to have a couple beds. So I thought maybe we could make like a little balcony type thing up here. And I've got some of the uh, Adobe stairs. And I think that the normal stairs in Ark are like two of these. As you can see, this goes up by like a quarter of like a circle. So you have to put four of them to make like the 360. Uh, oh, whoa. What? What? Disable? What? I have never seen that setting before. Flip stairs. Oh, you can flip them too? Oh. <gasps> Dude, that's so good. I haven't really ever used these before, so I didn't even know that they had those. Rail, uh, what was that again? Disable, uh, railing collision. What does that even mean? I have no clue. Anyway, let's just pick that up for now. I need to figure out a spot to put these. Hmm, maybe I'll put them into the back corners here. Yeah, so let's pick these up for now. We'll pick up uh, this one as well. And then we'll place them down. Which way do I want it to start, though? Uh, wrong button. Maybe like this. So they're going to start like this. And then it's going to work its way up. Ugh. Can we... There we go. Can we get that snap point? Wait, no, then, wait, hang on. If I do that, then it's going to, like, turn in this way, which we don't want. So, we got to, hmm. That's kind of awkward, actually. Maybe if we do it from the other side, so to get up to the stairway, we have to go this side. I feel like that's going to be the only other option to actually get this to work properly. Or I guess we could actually just flip the stairs. I mean, that's a little bit awkward, though, I think. To be honest, like, if I saw stairs like this, I wouldn't want to walk down it. It looks very steep and scary. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, let's go ahead and just pick these up then. Kind of reminds me, um, when I was in Canada, we went to Casa Loma, which is, which is like this, um, I think it's like the only castle 
in Canada or something. I don't know. Over here in 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 Ireland, we have like a a good few castles. So I don't know if it's like the only one in Canada. Maybe if we do it here, that way it's gonna turn out that way. I think, won't it? Yeah, it should. So yeah, we went to uh, Castle Oma, and there was like these these stairs going up to like the battlements or whatever. And dude, this the freaking stairs were so steep. Like when we were walking up to go up to the stairs. Like there was kids and like a and like a man walking down and like what are the kids freaking fell? <laughs> like this stuff was dangerous. This kind of reminds me of it. Like it was like a tiny tiny little steps, um, and they're like very narrow little wedges pretty much. And then like it was one of those like metal stairs, so it's kind of rickety and everything. Man, it was it was freaky. I'm not afraid of stairs at all, but like goddamn, I didn't feel safe walking down those. Uh, walking up wasn't bad, but like walking down was the issue. <laughs> all right, there we go. Sweet. Uh, we have a little bit of a gap there, but I think that's okay. So yeah, we gotta do the same over on the other side then. I can't actually walk. Oh, that's what it means. I get it now. Railing collision. I couldn't walk off the side because I had the railing collision on. Okay, that's cool actually. That's a nice addition. I didn't even know that they had that. Uh, so I need to start that over here. Uh, okay, well that's... I need to flip them. I need to place them up and then I need, to, I need to flip them because apparently it doesn't have the same kind of snap point and I believe that the vanilla ones are actually like this too where you can only place them in one direction can I get the snap point please there we go and flip sweet uh, okay so that goes there that goes there awesome all right so then for up here I want to place down some railings going across here. Maybe actually I'll switch these ones here to stone. Just to kind of give it a little bit more texture. Yeah, that looks good. Um, and I do want railings here. Actually, yeah, this works out perfectly. I have the, oh wow. I have like the perfect amount. I've got like four more, which is exactly what I need. So that gives us a couple little banister things here. Want another one over here. So yeah, when we're walking down, we can pretty much just like do this. Although I guess, to be honest, I kind of like the rail uh, collision thing. That means that we can't fall off the stairs. So maybe I'll turn that back on. Cool. All right, well that looks really good actually, wow. Yeah, those stairs are really aesthetic. I don't know why, it just looks amazing. <laughs> kind of want to use these a little bit more often. That's cool. All right, so up here, I don't actually have the beds on me. We have to like fly back and make those, but um, I'll probably put some like bunk beds over here and like around the map, we have like all the beds. So like at the farm outpost, it says like the farm outpost as like the name of the bed. So like all the beds are named and also in the same locations. And I have of course also marked the map here as well. I'm not sure if I even showed this off yet, but I marked the, uh, the library location on the map for us. So, um, well, that's just for me, I guess. It's it's only works for me. But, like, if the other guys want to do it, they can come here and do it as well. Uh, Blarnell's just sitting up there. It could, took me a while to actually land them up there. Um, also, I might add in some more catwalks going across, just as some kind of rafters. Um, not exactly sure how many I'll add in because I don't want to overcrowd it. But um, I think they look pretty good. Um, what else is there? Uh, I have, of course, named up a bunch of these, like, ready to kind of, like, Put the painting up above once we get that stuff so we have cloth blah 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 all the cloth pieces we have hide desert cloth gilly uh chitin fur flak riot and then it goes into some other things here so we have scuba mask and then like all the scuba pieces and then gas mask because there's a couple different um like variants of like helmets that you can wear on this we got night vision goggles miner's helmet and then it goes into the shields and then we work into the tools here. So we got stone pick, metal pick, stone hatchet, metal hatchet, and then metal sickle. And then I won't read out the rest. I'll just kind of let you have a look here. So yeah, we've got all of these things set up. Bam, bam. And then we're kind of getting to like the guns here. And then, have I named these? Oh, I don't have this one named. I don't really know what to put here. I mean, we could put charge cannon, but I'm not sure if you can even get a blueprint for those. And to be honest, like it kind of seems pointless. Uh, back here we have attachments as well. So like all five attachments for weapons. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's all really good. I haven't set up this side yet because I need to like alphabetize the list of saddles that you can actually find. So that's gonna be a big pain. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that at some point. Um, but I think there's a couple more things I wanna do in here. Of course, we could probably go ahead and actually take these away now. Kind of clear up the area a little bit. Maybe we'll even just take a little bit of a flyby as well. What did I just pick up there? Is this foundation? Okay. <laughs> that was confusing. Oh, wow. Look, immediate metal node. Are you kidding me? Do I even want to take up the rest? Like, what the hell? It just came back immediately. All right. Come here, buddy. Am I too heavy for you? Probably not, actually. You've got a decent amount of weight. So, yeah, here is the library. Really awesome. Um, it's got, like, these little nubs coming through the roof here, which kind of adds a little bit of texture. That's just the pillars coming up from where the, um, the bookcases are. So, yeah, looks pretty good, though. And then on the inside, of course, we've got all the bookcases and then the back area, which I'll probably put a couple tables in as well. Don't have any of those on me right now, so... Uh, a couple tables, maybe a couple chairs, just for aesthetics, really. Um, I don't think I'm going to add, like, a librarian's desk or anything. I think that would be kind of funny, but I, I think it's a little bit stupid. And plus, I wouldn't even know what to put behind it besides maybe a Gigantopithecus. Maybe we will do that. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I think for now we're going to be done. Oh, you're still following me, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to be done for this video, guys. So if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and hit the like button. I know it's been kind of just sporadic building, like in this one but um it's really hard to like show all this on camera because it's like a, just a lot of just a huge amount of wall placing pretty much i mean that was like the main bulk of this of this session for this recording like i've just been placing walls for like 90 percent of the time so it's not very interesting to watch but um yeah we might do some more like painting work on the inside as well not exactly sure but yeah i like it i really do if you guys did enjoy the video like button if you guys want to see more Go ahead, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.